someone who's, say, renovating your house or building a house or putting an extension onto your house or whatever it is, think of the, uh, the builders who are employed to do all of that. They won't be able to get pipes, they won't be able to get tiles, they won't be able to get the most mundane, mm. ordinary of things. And the supply chain was bad up until now. Mm. It's going to get a lot, lot worse. Oh, it's probably it's going to be probably the worst we've ever seen it. It was, like you said, significantly bad um, not so long ago, and uh, we thought it was just about trying to get back on its feet. We were starting to see a little bit of easing off on it, but this strike will really hit home, and it will put so so much pressure on the government right. and whoever becomes the new prime minister. But, as well. but here, here's the problem, and we've all been sitting discussing this um, today. Everybody's in the same boat. Everybody's hit by. 10.1% um, inflation and I suppose those who shout loudest are going to be listened to and those who've got the most amount of, of influence, those who can turn the taps off um, are in the strongest position. Now we were talking about uh, care home workers and how you can't uh, attract them but you know what? No one's going to care at the end of the day. They care about if the economy is hit. Yeah, I think every, and it's one of those old saying in politics, everything is local. So the minute that it affects you, that's yeah. when you suddenly care about it. What's really important to notice when we talk about who shouts the loudest is if we actually look at trade unions in the UK, they've, seen a, they've had a bit of an ebb and flow of power and relevance over the last couple of years. They kind of hit their kind of recent peak under Jeremy Corbyn and thanks to a little bit more of a, a more militant left-wing politics. But if we look at membership of trade unions, overall it's dropped by 50%. Uh, but the thing is always to remember is that if we look at public sector, sector workers, the 50% of those are also unionised. They're still incredibly powerful within some of the most important sectors in our economy, which tends to be education, transport and the healthcare system. Mm. You know, unless the, the government and these trade unions really come, sit down around a table, everybody's in for a world of hurt. I mean